Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. In 1995 and 1996, advanced math students from 16 countries took a standardized test. This is the hardest question that only 10% solved correctly. A string is wound symmetrically around a circular rod. The string goes exactly four times around the rod. The rod has a circumference of four and a length of 12. What is the length of the string? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will present two different ways to solve this problem. Let's get started using calculus. First, we will rotate the entire rod so that it stands vertically. Then, we will make the rod a transparent surface so we can see the path of the string. Now, let's set up a coordinate system of x, y, and z. The rod has a circumference equal to 4, which means its radius will be equal to 2 over pi. The bottom of the rod is along the plane z is equal to 0. Therefore, the top of the rod will be along the plane z is equal to 12. We can now describe the path of the string using parametric equations. x is equal to r cosine t, y is equal to r sine t. Since the helix goes around 4 times, and since the period of sine and cosine is 2 pi, we must have t going between 0 and 8 pi. In order that z goes between 0 and 12, we have that z is equal to 1.5 over pi multiplied by t. With these equations, we can use the arc length formula. It'll be the following integral. We will carefully calculate each derivative, and then we will simplify underneath the square root. From here, sine squared of t plus cosine squared of t is equal to 1. We thus simplify further, and we get the following integral. To evaluate it, we take 5 over 2 pi multiplied by 8 pi, which simplifies to be 20. And that's our answer. This method does work, but there are plenty of opportunities to make mistakes. So let's learn a much simpler way to solve this problem using a trick. We will cut this cylinder horizontally as shown. Then imagine unwrapping this rod and flattening it out at the same time. The cylinder will transform into a rectangle and the string will transform into four diagonal lines. Since the rod had a circumference equal to 4, the height of this cylinder will be equal to 4. We then notice the length of this rectangle is divided into four horizontal segments that are each equal to x. Therefore, we have 4x is equal to 12. This means x is equal to 3. We then need to calculate the following length, which is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. You might know the famous Babylonian 345 triple, or you can calculate the length using the Gogu theorem. We get that the hypotenuse has a length equal to 5. We thus have a string that's equal to four diagonal segments that are each equal to five. Therefore, the length of the string is equal to five times four, which equals 20. No calculus required, and that's our answer. Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.